It's the morning show. It is. Once I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was going to be a much more triumphant intro than it was. It yeah. was not. It no. was maybe 50% it of went, the energy yeah. that I needed to put into that. It, 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 it kind of it meandered there for yeah. a second. How you doing? I feel like this uh, weather outside is just zapping all like energy that I could have had it's today. It's so ugly. It, 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 it's so wet. It evokes two emotions for me. Okay. One is I hate it. Yeah. I like the sun. I like the sunshine. Mm -hmm. Two is it means the holiday season is right on the corner and very pumpkin exciting. spice everything is happening. This is very it's true. Coming into my, uh, I think the, is what? pumpkin spice already there? No. Usually it starts showing up around October. October. Right? Isn't it like an October thing where it's like, hey, let's let's start going it right in because it's like a Thanksgiving thing, right? And then it just kind of hangs around for Christmas. I thought it was just a fall thing. So like I pumpkin spice is like it's like the, the friend that comes over to stay at your house for a week but then ends up staying there for forever. two months and you're like, yeah. yo, okay. Can you leave now? Or the people that show up too early for something, where uh, you're like, it says it starts at two, but you came over at one thirty. Why would you do that? Well, traffic was light. I thought no, you might need then help. Go to Starbucks, right? Exactly. There's and so many other things you can do. Our parents. Yeah. Those are what those people are called. A thousand percent. I had to actually have a talk with my parents one time. I was like, listen, <laughs> when I ask you to come over at like two, yeah, I just, like, somewhere close to two is fine, but like twelve thirty, that's not acceptable. It's not. <laughs> You can't, it's stressful. they just want to like help you clean? No, they're just like, we're just going to sit. And I'm like, I'm clearly, like this is back when I was like in my 20s. I'm yeah. like, I'm clearly still sleeping. Yeah. You don't understand. <laughs> if you come over at 1130, you wake me up. And then mm -hmm. you're like, oh, why are you so all groggy? I'm like, because you shaved two hours off my sleep. Yeah. If you wanted to meet at 1130, why didn't you just say that? I actually had this interesting conversation with, uh, or not a conversation. I was talking at people in a cab. Where the hell were we? In Minnesota. Where I was talking about being on time. Mm -hmm. And this concept of like. You know the concept of like if you're if you're if you show up 15 minutes early you're on time if you show up on, on time, time you're late, late that's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. I don't like it. My choir director Here's, always used to say that. That's for call times. That's for people who are fucking completely and totally lame and can't understand how time works. Mm -hmm. I read a book a long time ago called The Count of Monte Cristo. One of the things that I fucking love this mm -hmm. is when I was like I'm gonna try to read like really long books that are important. And then I'm like fuck that mm -hmm. I'm just gonna start reading Bond books they're way easier. Um, but one of the things I loved about him was that he was like always on time. If the clock, if he was supposed to be there at noon, mm -hmm. by the, the, when the clock struck noon in your house, you'd get a knock on your door. That's crazy. And that that's is cool. fucking cool. That's because so cool. he's like, that's a, it's like respect, but it's also kind of a power play of like, I'm going to show up exactly when I said I was going to show up. Not a yeah. second before, or not a second, a second after. Exactly when I told you, so you can count on me. And I appreciate that. He'll show up 20 minutes. 20 minutes is stressful. 10 minutes, I expect... You show up any longer out of that 10 minute threshold, I'm not gonna be happy that you're there. I might, I might make you wait 10 outside. minutes early or late? Late, unacceptable. If I tell you to be at my house, if it's a social gathering and I said, if I say one ish, mm -hmm. come show up at one ish, that's fine. That means anytime okay. after one is fine. Uh -huh. You show up at 12 30, I'm gonna you go, go get a cup of coffee, mm -hmm. bring me back one. I'm not ready for you. I'm not mentally mm -hmm. prepared for this yet. Yeah. Do you understand me? Then you get the people that show up at like, I say one ish, they show up at two. That's late. A little much. That's late. I don't because I'm. What am I talking about? Right I'm now? always the late person, but except for the except for when we've like made plans to go somewhere and like someone's picking me up right. or I'm picking someone up. It's like no, I told you I'm going to be there a specific time. There's nothing. This is the big joy pet peeve. If mm -hmm. I tell you, hey. I'm going to pick you up at 1 o'clock, and it's 1 o'clock, and I'm outside, and you're like, oh, I'm not ready yet. And I it's fucking like, hate that. Especially in San oh Francisco when no. it's like. Then I got to double park, and yeah. people got to pull around me. No. 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 Hate if it. you're like, okay, I'm locking my door. I'm coming down. Totally fine. Like, putting There's, on my other shoe. There is totally one fine. acceptable response if you're gonna be to more I than, here, and that response is be right down. Mm -hmm. I'll be right out. Exactly. Anything. Coming out now. Mm -hmm. I cannot stand when people go, oh, hold on. I need like five minutes. No, 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 no. You knew I was going to be at your house. Mm -hmm. You should have been, really, etiquette dictates you're fucking outside. You're standing outside your house yeah. when I'm pulling up there. That's what makes me happy. Because here's what people don't understand. They don't get that there is the thing called nick time. Mm. And nick time, mm. when it comes to the airport, oh. I get to the airport. <laughs> I aim to be at the airport exactly two hours before my flight leaves. At the airport. At the airport. Nick time is the best time. Now, Kevin and I- Does that not for... seem excessive? Now, here's why it's not excessive. Yeah. Okay. It, it is excessive for the nine out of 10 times that nothing goes wrong, mm -hmm. okay? But that 10th time, uh -huh. the Uber, like for instance, the last time, not, not this time, but I think when I was going to Austin, I get in an Uber, right? And the guy, like we were on the fucking freeway. Everything looks like it's going fine. And then all of a sudden, everyone stops. And the cop's doing one of those things where he's going back and forth. Oh, the worst. Just stops. We're stopped for like 20 minutes. 
I'm not stressed. You know why? Nick time. Nick time. Nick time. I got tons of time, yeah. right? Or uh, when I get to the airport and realize I've booked the United ticket, that that's right, doesn't allow you a carry-on bag, which is now their new shit they're doing. This new Wait, really? fucking horrible thing United's doing. Yeah. You get these economy basic. So I didn't know there was anything worse than economy, but econ- apparently you can be a basic-ass bitch in economy, too, where, like, it's economy basic, mm. where you go, and it's an orange, an ugly-ass orange ticket that says you cannot have a bag carried on, and you have to pay, like, 25 bucks. That's ridiculous. It's such bullshit. Wait, wait, That's does that mean... so dumb. So carry-on versus personal item. You can have one personal item. Okay, so a backpack But if you still take good. a... If you have a backpack and a... Now, to be fair, Ty Root had this ticket and just yeah. said, fuck it, and they let him through. It didn't matter. But you know me, I can't break rules. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So if That's you, a Thai rude yeah. ass story. So if you have a backpack and a carry on, yeah. like an actual, like, fits yep. in the overhead, this is your backpack, yep. apparently they'll charge you 50 bucks. If they see you with it, they catch you with it, they're like, there's gonna be another $25 processing fee for this or whatever. Which I'm torn on this. But that's this. if they catch you. I'm torn on this because, on the one hand, I've been saying for years, why the fuck don't they just make people Paper check backs? Bag? Oh. Right? They're always like, we don't have any more space. Oh, the overheads are always a big deal. There's no more space in the overheads. Guys, the overheads, they're so full, right? They're so uh-huh. full. They're so impossibly full. There's a guy running back and forth. We got no more time. We got no more space in the overheads, They're like right? closing them. Oh, they're closing them. There's always the asshole that goes all the way to the back and keeps opens opening. Them. I'm like, they're fucking closed yeah. for a reason, you moron. But this is what I don't understand. My thing has always been just make people, like make, it, make people check the bag ahead of time. Mm-hmm. That's totally fine. But what I didn't realize is that was going to backfire. I mean, now we have to take a bag and pay $25. United always gets so wait, they, they always screw you over. So they charge you to bring a bag regardless of if you're checking it if, or if you're... You are, if you, if you bring a bag on this economy basic ticket, mm-hmm. you have to check the bag and it costs $25. You mm-hmm. cannot bring it aboard with you or it will cost $50. Wow. This is dumb. It's not dumb if you're, if you're going doing, to like, LA for like, a day trip yeah. and you want to pack just a quick like... You know, a backpack or like a yeah. little, little something you can take with you. But I, which I would have totally done for Cisco's wedding, but I had my suit with me. Mm. So I was like, shit. Like, it would have been perfect. Should have just worn the suit, man, to the flight. I thought about, <laughs> I thought about it, actually. It actually would not have been a bad idea because I could have just walked off, like, walked right. right into the hotel, checked my backpack and gone because I was a little late anyway. Mm-hmm. But I also just don't, I don't know. It was like a three-hour, three-and-a-half-hour flight. On a, in I didn't a want suit? to wear a suit. Yeah. And then it's kind of, like, kind of wrinkled. So and I was wearing, de- I, was, I was playing Dead Cells the entire time, so I was stressing the fuck out. So you'd been, like, all sweating. And yeah, like, I don't know. So yeah. on my, uh, my flight back from Minnesota, I was in the fucking most cramped flight I've ever been. I didn't see this picture. It was <laughs> so, Nicholas, I shit you not, the dude leaned back, and his head was no more than six inches away from my face. What, what plane were you on? It was, this, like, the cheapest flight back that I could find. You're on, like, some buddy? Were you on, like, Ryanair? Like, what the it, fuck? It was called Sun Country? Oh, yeah. Oh, That's, if you if you're flying Sun Country, bud, you're po- there's a good possibility they might come out and ask you to fly the plane. <laughs> it, like, it made no sense how tight these seats were. No. Like, when I got in, I was like, all right, I'm going to just squeeze my backpack, which was my personal item. Mm-hmm. I'm going to squeeze it down here. And it didn't want to fit between the back of the seat and my seat. And I was like, fuck, this is not good because this is not a giant backpack. It's annoying. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, KTOP27 in the chat says American Airlines and United are both charging for carry-ons. It sucks. This is just, fuck, at this point, it's just predatory. These airlines are making a ton of money. They don't need this fucking money. They're just doing it. One does it, the other one goes, oh, cool, we can do it now. Too. Yeah. Eventually, then it becomes industry standard. And I have been on flights in Europe, like I've been on Ryanair. We flew Ryanair from Spirit Airlines. Yeah, like those things where you, you fl- I flew from. Uh, I think we we're in London to Morocco. Yeah, and it's gonna get this bad. It's like we have to pay you to nickel use the and dime, like everything. Like yeah. you literally have to pay like two euros to use the bathroom. No fucking way, man. That's you have to crazy. pay for water. You have to pay mm-hmm. for all this shit. It is absurd. We need to take a stand against this. But I don't know how. Here's the thing, though. If this. With those flights specifically, like, because we took a super, super budget airline from London to Barcelona. Mm-hmm. But, like, the tickets were half the price oh, no, of well, the that's normal the airlines. Massive, uh, well, I'm not saying it's handled because it's disgusting. Uh, so, yeah, but Ryanair was like $30 a ticket. Exactly. It's true. That's the, that's, so and that's even like, with the I other don't things. mind paying $30 and then paying five bucks to take a poop yeah. on the plane. It's fine. You know what you're getting. You're getting the equivalent to a literal bus that's flying in the air. But when I'm paying $500 a ticket or like $700 a ticket. Totally. Give me a free, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. come on. Then you can, you can 
You can put my bag on the plane. Well, like, what the, f you know what I mean? Like, uh, it's just, it's just ridiculous. Like, this is why you inflate ticket prices, but the problem is they're inflating ticket prices and charging all these nickel and diming bullshit. Yeah, it's not a good And then, why I don't United, like always a terrible attitude. Everyone's always got a fucking bad attitude when I deal with United. Mm -hmm. They're just, because they're so busy all the time, there's too much volume, they like, you see them, they get broken down. I'm sad that all my miles are with United. <laughs> I, have a lot of, I have a lot of miles with United. I know. But to be fair, the only airline that anyone gave a shit about was Virgin, and now they're gone. And my life Alaska, sucks. other than the incident, hasn't been terrible. It hasn't been great, though. They're yeah. just, they're a far cry it's away terrible. from what they used to be. <laughs> yeah. You know? There's no more dance video no, thing at the beginning. Well, I'm fine with that. That's actually oh, a, that's that. a plus for me. No, and then you um, can sing along and it's so fun. Well, you know, Joe, how many flights do you take a year? Because there was a time when Tim 20? and Greg always Probably. booked Virgin because they had all their points on Virgin. Mm -hmm. I was hearing that thing like every other week. And it's so impossibly long. It's an 80 minute fucking video. By oh, the time it's, it's way done. way longer than it needs to be, but I love it. By the time it's done, you're, you're touching down in whatever city you're trying to get. It's just That's, shut up. Especially when you're doing and the And they hype flight. it through, and I'm like, shut up. Because tonight, get ready to fly. We could just sing it every time we go now. We're going to live you see, it gets up to you. in the sky. By the no. end, you're like, it's like. How have I'm we not started it. housekeeping yet? Have we uh, not? <laughs> no. Uh, oh, go ahead and roll it. Housekeeping, you want me to jerk you off? What kind of hotel is this? Uh, top on housekeeping. If you want one of these big, beautiful bad boys, Kev, give me that one. No, I can't. Don't worry about it. Can't pull it out. Here, I'll just do this. Get out. Oh, it's in a heap. Oh, oh. <laughs> Wait, why? Why are you just picking it up? Because it was it was sandwiched it was in here. Out of the. Oh. Yeah. Here, I gotta like. Yeah, I was stuck to the iPad. There Got you go. It. Somebody just did that. It's probably easier. Probably could have just that. picked up the iPad. I tried to, and then it fell uh, over. Fell over because it's yeah. not really it's secured not onto this thing. Well, no, it doesn't matter. What a there, tabletop yeah, there, there, decor there. piece we have here. If you want one of these, uh, please back us at either of our Patreons, patreon.com slash kindoffunny or patreon.com slash kindoffunnygames at the fan mail tier. Uh, and we will we will put, we'll slide one into your mailbox. Just don't tell your significant other that Nikki's, uh, Nikki's coming just inside you. Yeah. What? Just a little secret. Just the time. It's this yeah, this no. right here is going to be our little We're secret. We're going too far, guys. Here's what's going to happen. This isn't funny. Sir and or ma'am out there. Give me the one. Give me the one. If you want one of these, you want it just for your own private time. That's your time, okay? Your husband and or wife, they don't, they, don't, they don't own you, you know? They don't get to tell you what you can and can't do with every second of every day. You want to take a moment? You want to hide this underneath the sink? And then when you go into the bathroom and all the, the kids are screaming all over the place and, 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 you know, you just had to make dinner and your kid was like, I don't want this dinner and it throws it into your face and you want to fucking punch that kid in the face but you can't because you know there are these things called child abuse laws that apparently did not apply to any parents in the 80s and 90s. Open hand, man. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. What? You take this, you put it underneath the sink, you go into the bathroom, you lock the fucking door, your kid's knocking on it, you say, shut up or I'm not going to be your mom anymore. Kid goes away, you take this out, you stare at it. You have a second of meditative happy time. Put it back underneath there. This is gonna make your life better. I'll tell you right now. Not a completely, it's not a solution, it's more of a band-aid for your life. But it can make your life better. Go real far into this. Kiss it. Patreon.com slash kind of oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> the beard to beard kissing was absurd. Beard to beard's my favorite. Oh, Makuga's coming back up. Yeah! Beard to beard. Wait, why did that remind you of Makuga? Because our um, um beard we, to beard kissing. Our team is called Beard to Beard. Okay. Yeah, because we look exactly the same, and we have the same beard, so we just go into it. Uh, Kev, bring this up. Watch Party Mode. This is one of the it's amazing so moments from Party Mode. You got you got to listen to this some sound. Up, up, tune. What's what, up, tune. Whoa, tune. How much he hates it? Up, he hates tune. it. Hey, whoa, up, tune. What's what, up, tune. Whoa, tune. They do a really good job up, with the music up, and the edit on this. But one. I love when he cut to the edit <laughs> and like they're clearly <laughs> not dancing to the same beat. But it's, it works. That's the charm of it. All right, that's uh, that was from our one of our pay <laughs> that was from one of the party modes of Super Sports Machin. Of course, uh, near and dear to my heart because it actually won me the belt back, and we love that very much. <laughs> Kev, you uh, now Brian Thompson. I, I issued a call yesterday. You did. You and put the bat signal out there. I put the bat signal out there. I said I need a sub only mode graphic. Mm -hmm. And Brian Thompson is the only person. Answer that call. What is he on Twitter? So everyone can go follow him right now. He's at it's Brian Thomas, and he's oh, at Thomas. it's a me BT. It's a 
Okay. Well, you know what? If you're watching this, you can see it. If you're listening to it, you're probably not going to do it. You're going to put your phone well, I'm going to full screen this. first. Full screen is bad. Well, let's see what this looks like. This is subtly bow. Slide into my bow. This is subtly bow. Oh, you can't see your face because you're covering it. Slide into my bow. There's a little nick that slides in. I, uh, I'm going to be honest. I hate this. You what? hate it. The little nick freaks me the fuck out. Oh, yeah. I could do without the little nick. Hold on. I'm going to show the people the little nick. Bottom right. If you go full screen. How about you guys let me do my job and you guys do your job? How's that sound, right? <laughs> Slide in my mouth. Yep. Do do it cuts off too fast, too. I need a little tail Slide on that, Brian. Do 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 I love it. I love the. Brian, neon if you're, light. Uh, Brian, if you're watching, I need a little. I need like five seconds on the uh, the outside of it. Take the little nick out, though. Five seconds. That's yeah, because it. It's we a whole video. You have a transition no, no, no. There somehow. needs to be five more seconds. Oh. Because you can't have things cut off. Kevin has to have time to transition to the next to, to me. Got it. it looks Just good, putting that out there. It's I like great. I like the style of it. Yeah. It's sexy. I like the brick with the neon. It's evocative. It makes people feel things. It gets the people going. That's what the fucking I couldn't remember what it was. <laughs> We're gonna skate to one song, one, one song, song only. only. Lady Lumps. <laughs> what is it called? What is the song My called? Humps? My humps, that's what it is. My humps by the Black Eyed Peas. Why? <laughs> what does that even mean? Nobody knows what it means. It's evocative. <laughs> oh, uh, off. What's happening? It's My mic fell off. That's okay. What are, hey, well, here's the real question. Please stick around. Stay here. We haven't asked this question in a while because we're, we're cowards. Mm -hmm. What are you doing for? Oh, shit. Oh, that's where I thought you were going, and I was super excited inside. I'm down because to go I don't, I don't anywhere wanna. you want. Okay. So Andy's not here, so we can really have fun. Oh, Andy shit. fucking sucks. Yeah. He, doesn't eat, he doesn't eat sandwiches. No. He doesn't eat. Oh, yeah. He doesn't eat I have stuff to do. Fucking okay. tater tots. Like oh, yeah. stuff. No, he likes tater tots. No, he doesn't eat. He doesn't eat hot dogs or tater tots or food. All he mm -hmm. eats is like lime <laughs> and tortilla <laughs> chips. Remember that time we forced him to eat a corn dog? And he oh, was like, God, oh God, what is oh, it's it? So oh, gross. It's like no, it's fucking best thing. Corn dog is one of the best like junk foods you could possibly eat. It's true, and I don't even like. Hot dogs? We're gonna go but to there's Lisa's? something about a corn dog. Oh. We always talk about going to Lisa's. And it's and not it's a Monday. Tuesday. Yeah, that's right. It's <laughs> not Monday. Is it is Lisa's kind of like the Mexican version of Chick-fil-A? No. In where no. in the fact no, that not even, no. in the fact Splash that you only this ever coffee in your own face. Guy in the can't fact do that it. you only ever think about wanting it on the day that it's closed. Yes, oh yeah, that's no, fair. and that way it's that exactly fair, yes. like it. It always occurs to us, we're like, this would be a great we thing should to do yeah. on a Monday, and Jerry, then it's always I knew where you were going, but I thought it would be funny if we both you. disagreed as hard as possible. Well, because I, I thought you were trying I to. Was confused. I, I was confused. Because you don't like Chick fil A, huh? I don't Nobody like Chick fil A. Chick fil A is always, it comes out to you. I don't, I don't understand why people like Chick fil A. I don't get it. I get it. It's dry and Have you used flavorless. The sauce? Did you get the spicy one? You shouldn't need spicy to. Spicy one's so you good. You shouldn't need to. No, what fucking sauce? What I got to What do I want me to do? Fucking cook the chicken too? Yeah. I gotta put my own sauce in this shit? Yeah. No, unacceptable. They give you a, vari a wide variety of sauces. Let me explain what happens when I go to Taco Bell, okay? Uh, I go to which Taco also Bell. has a variety of sauces. I go, I want a combination burrito. Okay. Nacho Supreme. Okay. Maybe a double decker taco. Yeah, get Fuck it, it. I don't know if I've ever had a double decker. Fuck it. I don't know what that is. Throw in a quesarito. Throw in a quesarito on top of it. We're that. just That's going for it. That's yeah, way too much. By the time <laughs> I get by, pretty much through the nachos, I'm done. Like, but I'm hey. like, I'm gonna push through. Yeah. I'm gonna push through. I like to get it. It's comforting, right? The combination burrito, you bite into it moist. It's got its own sauce and cheese and beef and, 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 and oh, it's so good. I don't need to put anything on top of that. You don't use it's any of the hot into sauces. The no, I never have. Never have. I used to take the mild sauces. The I used mild. to get a shitload of them. Yeah. So when I was done with the Taco Bell when I was a kid, and all I did was literally eat because I was so bored with my life, I would then the next day take a can of Rosarita beans, open it up, put the mild sauce in mm. it with cheese and make my own little, like, Pintos and cheese. Pintos and cheese. Mm. See what I'm saying? Innovation. Not the same though, because you really got to. You work you with what you got. There's really no substitute for those like weird watery beans. The weird beans that they have at Taco Bell that are like you could tell they were powdered before, and they just put a drop of water in it and it rehydrates like some mm -hmm. space food. So good. They cannot be good for you though. No, All right. No, everything at Taco Bell is five ingredients just in different forms. That's the genius of Taco Bell. Science, man. It's almost like if we were to start a YouTube channel where it's the same five people doing like 15 different shows that are pretty much all the same show. I don't that's you know? Not. That's different. Well, Is that different? Hey, do you guys remember the green sauce from Taco Bell that they got rid of like six months ago? No. No. Again, I, I don't use that. sauces. Did she live there? Remember how um, Kevin got hot 
because we go to the East Coast uh-huh. for this Minnesota wedding. Is that and, the East Coast? I don't fucking know. <laughs> no, it's Central. Is it Central? Yeah, Central Time. Central Fuck. America? Well, mid, uh, Midwest, then, I guess what they call it, which is the stupidest fucking name yeah. ever. I don't understand why it's, oh, we're in the Midwest. No. We're, there's the, no. There's no such thing as the Midwest. Yeah, we're just in the mid. We're just in the mid. Technically, the Oregon west. would be you know why? the middle of the west, Because there's no mid-east. Right? There's no mid-east. But technically, Oregon would be the middle of the west, right? Oregon? Why? why? Middle Northwest. of the west coast. No, no, they made they break it up yeah, like I north-south. You, no, she's saying in the middle, up, up and, and down. down. Of the West Coast, and I think it's wouldn't still we California. be in the middle? Yeah, yeah I, I was gonna say California. we'd be in the middle. There. California, well, real it's big. the middle state. It's all arbitrary. We're in Minnesota, and we realized <laughs> there's not only there's no Carl's Juniors, but there's Hardee's, which I was like, I gotta go eat at this. We didn't, we didn't do it. But Carl's also, they don't have great. a green burrito. They have the red burrito. And Kevin, hard stance. really hard no on that. Hard no on what on the red burrito? The green burrito makes sense. Red burrito just sounds no. Thank you. How no, does the green you. burrito make sense? Get your enchilada sauce the fuck out of here. Get your enchilada green is, sauce. But isn't the green fuck also out of enchilada sauce? Joey, no, I don't you're making so. sense. And also, that doesn't make the sense. green burrito just makes it sound like it's moldy, and that's gross. And first that's why all, I've never eaten it. First of all, you've clearly never eaten a spinach burrito because they are fucking phenomenal. They're great. I have they never eaten at the green burrito because taste, it sounds disgusting. No, 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 no. I don't know if they really sell good. green burritos. Oh, got it, got it. That got are made it. of spinach. I'm just saying, spinach burritos in general, they no, taste keep like your spinach more. Out of my damn Joey, burrito. you need to hear this. You need to hear this. I need to tell you this. Yeah. The spinach tortilla makes the burrito taste more tortilla y. Okay? Now, this mm-hmm. is hard science. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. You're making, you know what you make me want. It's phenomenal. Burrito? Yeah? Yeah. This doesn't oh, make any sense. But a true story when I was in college, almost every day I ate super nachos from the green burrito, which is why I was super overweight. <laughs> Man. I used to get, they were like, this, they, were, they came in one of the square Riverside? styrophones. Oh, I guess it's in And I would, no, at UC Irvine, remember? Uh, this is before you were there, probably. They no, but they have, still have, because I used to live on the Corona Del Mar side of the campus. Okay. But, Joey, I wasn't finished. <clears throat> I wasn't. Let him finish. Red that. enchilada sauce yeah. is often bitter. The green tomatillo sauce. Tomatillo. Sour. Give me that sweet, delicious sour. Mm-hmm. It's not really sweet. No. Uh, sour sauce you said put on top sweet. of my burrito. Oh, it's so good. That's that it. Makes, I'm done. I really like uh, Drewski underscore 2K says Kevin. Kevin greater than Neil deGrasse Tyson. Mm-hmm. That's fact. That kind of science. Uh, all right. Quick tip reminder. If you guys want to tip us at the $5 above level, either me, Joey, or Kevin, uh, we will oh. read that to you guys right now. Nikki has tipped us quite generously. It said, boss is out of town, so I'm catching the show live and mm-hmm. spreading the love to you guys. Found this on Facebook. It's a picture. What do you think? Nikki, <laughs> you need to visit Miami for some amazing Cuban coffee. Uh, I got you, champ. I would love to go to Miami. I would love to go to Miami for coffee. Bienvenido a Miami. Uh, just for coffee. Well, and that, and look at all the insanely hot, beautiful people just walk around on the beach sure. and then not me not be near them because that gives me a complex. Okay, I bring up the image that he, he brought in here when you have a sec. Uh, 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 Zap Turk. Gave a six dollar and ninety cent tip. Said uh, for any best friends interested in craft beer, check out the podcast Beers of the Round Table. We are on all podcast servers. And we be- and we live stream on Facebook. And he gave us a link to that, which is just facebook.com slash beers round table. Uh, that's cool. What's the other image that the person brought up? Let me see this. Hold on, hold on. Uh, oh, yeah, I've seen these before. These are great. I don't like it. What you don't just like what it? the Avengers would be if they were cast in the nineties. What I would give for Brendan Fraser as Star Lord, just to see like a screen test or something. I just want a little morsel of Christian that. Christian Slater as Hawkeye would be fucking amazing. Matthew Broderick as Ant Man would be amazing. Oh, that would be so good. I don't love that Tom Lundgren's Cruise as Thor Iron Man. Would be awful. What's that? I said Dolph Lundgren's Thor would be awful. That would be pretty. Oh, bad. that would be yeah. terrible. But Mila Jovovich as Black Widow. That's would be pretty amazing. Fucking cool. Scarlet Witch, Alicia Silverstone, not bad. Gary I mean, I'm Oldman loving this. Loki. Denzel as Black Panther. Uh, Ethan Hawke is a video. I mean, this is great. Joe Pesci is Rocket Raccoon is fucking <laughs> hilarious. <What? laughs> oh, Schwarzenegger as Drax is yeah. good. Yeah. Mantis. I think I feel like Winona Ryder should be like Scarlet Witch, though. Because here's the deal. This is the 90s, right? Alicia Silverstone, very this big in the 90s, but fucking Winona Ryder owned the 90s. This is like owned a wide it. range of the 90s, because I don't feel like all yeah, these people were relevant at the same time. You're catching Halle Berry and Demi Moore. I think those are slightly different eras of the 90s. Yeah, I yeah. do love Keith uh, Keith David as Nick Fury, though. Keith David could play Nick Fury right fucking now, and I would still be into it. Like, Gary Oldman as Loki is great. This is a yeah. fucking great image. This is great. This is great. Leonardo DiCaprio as Spider-Man. Holy shit, that would have been amazing in the 90s. A little baby Leo? That would have been amazing. Leo is, oh, he would have been a, a much better Leo than Tom. He could still play it. 
He's a little chubby now, but it's okay. I don't think he could be playing he's volleyball, too, like, smoking cigarettes on the fucking old. beach. Yeah, he's too. <laughs> I watched Andy's editing of Party Mode for mm-hmm. when you guys played Mario Tennis Aces. <laughs> There's a section where you hear talk about Leonardo DiCaprio that is very funny. I love it. Get Leo. excited for that. Tom Cruise's Iron Man actually would have been pretty amazing. That's awesome. Well, thank you for that. I Nikki. love that they just threw John Stamos in there because I'm pro pretty much anything with John Stamos. Stamos is Winter Soldier. He's like the most serious <sighs> role. I love it. Uh, all right, let's go into the news. The news. The news. The news. Top on the news story right now. Uh, Asia Argento, we talked about this. Did you watch the show yeah. yesterday? We talked about uh, she has some accusations against her by uh, Jimmy Bennett, who was a child actor, who has accused her of inappropriate sexual contact in a hotel in California when he was 17. She is vehemently denying this. Um, in a follow-up report on Deadline, she says, uh, I've never had any sexual relations with Bennett. Argento said in a statement obtained by journalist Yashir Ali, the Italian actress, did, however, confirm that her late boyfriend, celebrity chef Anthony Bourdain, paid Bennett to stop harassing Argento. Argento's lawyer did not respond to Deadline's calls yesterday, seeking more information about the payment made to Bennett. Uh, Bourdain considered Bennett, quote, dangerous, Argento said, after Bennett requested an ex- exorbitant amount of money from Argento. Uh, Anthony was afraid of the possible negative publicity that such person, whom he decided dangerous, could have brought upon us, of course. This is all happening in the midst of the Harvey Weinstein stuff. So it sounds like what she's saying, to paraphrase, is uh, this guy was trying to extort her during the whole Harvey Weinstein thing, and they just paid him to go away. So that is her side of the story. She says she's never had any sexual contact attack with him. Um, I'll read her statement. I strongly deny and oppose the contents of the New York Times article dated 20 August 2018 as circulated in national international news. I am deeply shocked and hurt by having read uh, news that is absolutely false. I've never had any sexual relationship with Bennett. I was uh, linked to him during several years by friendship only, which ended when subsequently to my exposure in the Weinstein case, Bennett, who was then undergoing severe economic problems and who had previously undertaken legal action against his own family requesting millions of damages, unexpectedly made an exorbitant request of money from me. Bennett knew my boyfriend, Anthony Bourdain, was a man of great uh, perceived wealth and had his own reputation as a beloved public figure to protect. Uh, Anthony insisted uh, the matter be handled privately, and this was also what Bennett, Bennett wanted. Anthony was afraid of the possible negative publicity that such person, whom he considered dangerous, could have brought upon us. We decided to deal compassionately with Bennett's de- uh, demands. I love how there's like, key words in this that you're like, you can tell they worked on. Yeah, uh, for Demands sure. for help and gave it to him. Anthony uh, personally undertook to help Bennett economically upon the condition that we would no longer suffer any further intrusions in our life. This is, therefore, the umpteenth development of a a sequence of events that brings me great sadness and that constitutes a longstanding uh, persecution. I have, therefore, no other choice but to oppose such false allegations and will assume in the short term all necessary initiatives for my protection before all uh, competent venues. Oof. This is a lot. It's had a lot. N- no idea that they were linked together. They were a thing I for mi- a little bit. Totally missed that part. Yeah, they were a thing for a little bit. Um, I think they were a thing after. I think he was married for a while, for to his second wife, and then they were a thing after that. But I don't think they were dating when he when he uh, when he passed away. I'm not quite sure. I don't really know my Anthony Bourdain. <laughs> You're not. I think they might have been actually. Were they dating at the time? Interesting. Or it's uh, <clears throat> I don't know. This is the, who the hell knows. This is all alleged yeah. stuff. She's saying one thing. He's saying the other. Who knows for sure? Which is. Essentially, what it always comes down. to. I have a feeling this one's just gonna. This is just gonna pass. Away. This is gonna go away. I don't feel like. I don't feel like anyone's really gonna go out there and pick at Asia Argento on this one. Like, who who knows? I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm unfairly biased because I'm looking what at. What she do? Where she's from? Where's she's she an from? actress. She's an Italian actress. Most notably in my book, uh, she played the uh, the uh, the co-star in the seminal early 2000 film Triple X. <laughs> there we go. Wait, in the new one. No. no, she was not in the new one. Oh, in the original one. She was okay. in the original Triple okay. X. Right. Not the return of Xander Cage. Right, right, right. right. Did she anybody ever see that? One. I did. How was it? It was terrible. Even by Nick's standards? Um, no, it was good by Nick's standards. <laughs> okay. Like Ruby Rose is in it, and oh, she like does her. nothing. It's, but I like it's her. really convoluted. It's at one point it's does like she do more his or less? group versus another group, and then they become friends midway through and like they challenge it. Anyway. So it's like Fast and Furious, essentially. It's exactly <laughs> it, it was literally Fast and Furious. It was like a if you blinked your eyes, it was, it was like when, back in the day when 
like they would make rival movies like we were talking about yeah, they would yeah. like deep like uh, deep impact deep impact versus Armageddon where like they kind of should exist in the same universe yeah. that's what it felt like mm. where it's just it's just Vin Diesel being more Vin Diesel yeah. but he's skateboarding but he's a 74 year old man and you're that's like weird. this is fucking not sexy did you see the flow chart thing shorts. that's been going around on Twitter yeah the you point break versus like, yeah. is this point break or Fast and Furious <laughs> and the only thing it's like this big flow chart and it yeah. comes down to the end of like does it have Vin Diesel in it or not <laughs> And if it doesn't, it's fat, it's it's point break. Yeah, I love that. One's that. my favorite. Um, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> the only other thing with that is like she put out a statement, which I feel like oftentimes in this, people that just end up going dead silent and like veering off into the background. Well, but, one of two things happens when people put out statements, yeah. right? And this is this is the trend that we're seeing here. So people put out statements. Mm-hmm. And either nothing happens or it incites everyone else that they've abused to, to it like empowers them to come up and have yeah. a voice. So we, we will probably see, I imagine, in the next month, either more accusers or this It'll goes go away. away. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like, yeah. I, I, again, this is one of those who the fuck knows. It's he, should, it's he said, she said. Yeah. I hope to God uh, that she's not out there abusing people. Or abusing her power of people. I hope that. But I also it also sucks this guy is if that's the case and this guy's extorting her, and that yeah. fucking sucks too. So what are you gonna do? Yeah. All of these like every time <laughs> one another thing comes up, I'm always like, which is so selfish of like, oh, I hate that we like I hate that we have to talk about this in the fact of like the general public who's made aware of this is really never owed an explanation of of who's right, because yeah. it's really none of our business. But the like, I don't know. It it's just it weighs heavily on you after a while of like there are so many like shitty people in city shitty situations mm-hmm. and it's a lot to handle, which I know is nothing compared to what these people that are going through it have to um handle. But it's like coming to terms with the fact that like how do we as a society be better? I don't know. We talk about it more and more and more. Yeah. That's what we said. Uh, Taco sixty nine brought up a very good point. And said, uh, he shed, she shed, which is exactly what I said. So I apologize for that. The coffee has hit, and Mm -hmm. now my mouth's moving a little slower than my brain, which I feel like is a good thing, ultimately. Ultimately a good thing. And like my nerd said, I'm still distracted by this picture just staring at us. Come on, Mm -hmm. let me move me out of the light here a little bit. A little closer to you guys. I'm just going to (laughs) slowly move this closer to the camera until you buy one. It's expensive, but it's worth it. Again, you take it, you put it underneath your sink. When your kid's yelling at you... When life's got you down and you need just a little bit of someone to look back at you that doesn't judge I'm not judging you. Mm-hmm. The, the, the face in this is not judging you. He's there for your comfort. You understand me? He's there to make your day that much better. Okay. Is it working? I think so. See the chest hair? See the denim jacket? Nothing sexier than that. Look at this. Oh, it's the 80s. And everything was better in the 80s. A simpler time. It was. Next news story. Kelly Marie Tran opens up about leaving social media. This comes from IGN.com, but this has been picked up by every major media outlet. Uh, As you know, uh, I think it was like a month ago. Yeah. Kelly Marie Tran um, deleted all the stuff off her Instagram and just left a, uh, I think, a comment that said, I will endure. Um, She's off Twitter, all that stuff. And she opened up today a little bit about it, um, talking about why she did it. I think this is actually really poignant. Uh, uh, this comes from IGN. This is by Michael D- uh, Dominico. This Kelly Marie Tran is opening up about her decision to delete her Instagram earlier this year and the harassment she faced on social media. In an op-ed for the New York Times, Tran acknowledges the difficulties she has faced on social media since appearing as Rose Tico in Star Wars The Last Jedi. Quote, it wasn't their words, it's that I started to believe them, mm-hmm. Tran wrote. Uh, and I think that's actually probably the most poignant part. I'll read the whole statement, but I really that, that yeah. really spoke to me a little bit, right? Mm-hmm. Which is not... Because you don't want to see someone getting bullied off of, of Twitter, but I do want to understand the psychological ramifications of like how this how this affects people. Like, and that's really sad that people could hit you with that level of harassment and racism, and 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 actually have you start feeling like like it actually chips away at your own soul. Yeah, I don't love. I don't like that at all. Uh, she goes on to say. Their words seem to confirm what was growing up as a woman and a person of color already taught me that I belong in margins and spaces, uh, valid only as a minor character in their lives and stories. Uh, she goes on to say, I want to live in a world where children of color don't spread, spend their entire adolescence wishing they were white. 
I want to live in a world where women are not subjected to scrutiny for their appearance or other actions or their general existence. I want to live in a world where people of all races, religions, socioeconomic classes, sexual orientations, gender, identities, and abilities are seen as what they have always been, human beings. Uh, I could not agree more with that. Yeah. I think it's sad. I think that the only, and that's not a criticism that I have of this, but it's just I don't, I don't like when people get bullied and, and, and shot and like run away from it. Yeah. I'm not saying she's running away. She, you got to do what you got to do you and you got to take a mental health break every For once sure. in a while. Let me tell you, social media, not the best place to exist, especially if you want to actually affect real change. Yeah. But I do hope she comes back to this. And it's because, <clears throat> you know, this, she has a platform. She has a reason to fight. She needs to fight the fight, in my yeah. opinion. This is like On kind her of, terms, when she can come back to it. Yeah. And it, I feel like it... It gets it's hard for the people that are on the front lines, and I definitely feel like she's one of those people that has to endure the brunt of all of that kind of shit. Um, but my like, you kind of d- if you want to, you take it up and you do it to make it easier for the people that come well, that's behind problem, you. Right? But you have to find a good balance to where it's not like I totally demolishing, you. yeah, your sense of worth. And I think it is super interesting that she said that she started to believe them. Cause I feel like if you do hear people tell you something enough times and you get it in floods, like I can ima- imagine that she did, like <clears throat> if that's all you if that's all you hear, or if that's like the majority of what you're hearing about yourself from strangers and like just in droves, then I think it is hard to separate that from like reality of the people that in your life that matter. Versus- well, it's also, it's also difficult because these are the people who are going to support your career, right? These are the people that presumably are going to be the ones that watch you in the next movie. Yeah. And you know it's coming again. Like, her character's going to be in the next movie. Yeah. And there's just, like, is that going is there going to be another wave of hate that comes at her? For sure. Yeah. For sure Without a doubt. Um, and so it's, it, it's, it's a tough spot to be in, but I do admire the strength that it takes to, like, to to confront something like this, a thousand percent, because, and to say it and to be this honest about it, yeah, and that and you brought up a very very good point, right? The people who want to affect change, the people who want to change people's hearts and minds, are always like on the front ground, like the the forefront of being the ones to take the brunt of the of the anger and the hate, yeah, that has to, and then they they make it just a little bit easier for everyone that comes before them, and I believe those people are called heroes. That's what I would call them, yeah, right. Uh, I've never had to do that. Uh, and no one looks at me as a leader in any way, shape, or form. Thankfully. <laughs> Thankfully. And with pictures like this still, I think I've pretty much all but ensured that no one's ever going to elect me to any sort of uh, leadership position. But, you know, it's it's difficult. It's easy for me to sit here and criticize or praise people uh, from the safety of our own little studio here. Never yeah. having really faced that stuff before. Um, unanimously, people just love me. Generally. Um, it's like kind of irritating. Which actually is its own, it's kind of my own bane, right? Because it's, it's like, oh, it's I, have to be lovable, I have to be lovable all the time. Yeah, like, exactly. Even when I have amazing opinions on things, people just agree with me. Oh <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, but no, but all seriousness, I, I think it's I think it's good that she spoke out about this, and I hope she returns. I hope she does too, because I feel like... And this is me saying this, by the way. I should preface, I did not particularly, as you know, did not like The yeah. Last Jedi, and specifically did not like her character in The Last Jedi, but I still don't think there's any reason to throw hate at someone, even the actor, yeah. for... The lines that she did not write and direction she did not give herself. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? A thousand percent. Like, you Tell should you what, be able someone... to separate the character from yes. the human being. Come on. And just because you don't like the character, that's totally fine. Like, you don't have to. You want to throw but You should still be able to give the baseline of human respect to somebody. It's one of those things where I think about it and I think, because you know, the guy that played Jar Jar got a lot of shit for it. The kid mm-hmm. that played Anakin got a lot of shit for it. Like, they, they've had not had an easy go of it. Yeah. And I think to myself, if they offered me Jar Jar, would I take it? And the answer is 100% yes. <laughs> really? Fuck yes, dude. To be in a Star even, Wars film? Even knowing, Come at me, Twitter. I don't give a fuck. I ain't quitting. Even, but even knowing like what that character be, like became. Oh, it would just... No, I mean, like right now, if they were like, Nick, you're taking Jar Jar, I would, knowing fully well that it would be a horrible decision. <coughs> oh, excuse Bless me. You. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. I'd be like, fuck it. I don't want to be in a Star Wars film. <laughs> I'll take it. I own that shit, too. I'm yeah. like, I fucked your movie over. Like, I fucked up Star Wars for you. Mm-hmm. Come at me, Internet. <laughs> I hate you, dude. You're a bad person. Come at me, Internet. I would purposely play the role bad, too. Well, yeah. Just to piss everyone off. And be like, Star Wars is stupid now, everyone. Let's get over it. We got, we got Marvel movies. We don't need Star Wars anymore. Marvel is the new Star Wars. Star Wars now? Just going to be... You know what Star Wars is to me? It's just one of those he big... He anything more offensive. It's one of those big right. bowls He's right. of jelly belly beans. 
and you're like, <laughs> I'm, I know I'm not gonna like half the flavors in this yeah. fucking thing. But you still and you keep go eating them. and you keep eating them, and you're like, this is not even a, this is not even remotely fun. It's kind of enjoyable in some weird way, but I wish they were Reese's peanut butter cups. Marvel is the Reese's peanut butter cups. So right. Of movies now, DC Why? is like that weird then ass go fucking. Go eat your you know, Reese's peanut butter cups and stop shitting on the jelly beans you know what, that people you know like. What, you know what DC <laughs> they're still is? Still there in front of you. Yeah, they're there. I have to eat them. If I you gotta out. eat them. We're fat kids. DC, by the way, is that cheap off-brand candy that your grandma buys. <laughs> like the that she goes. You go. You go oh into the cabinet. You go into the cabinet and you get whatever candy you want. You open it up. You say it's and the you, Werther's original. You go. No, no, no. My grandma used to have dopes. the cabinet that had all the chocolate in it. But oh. she had bought the chocolate over years, and my brother and I would get sick because it had like spoiled. Like, like you'd open the it up, Russell and you're like, Stover. "How is this stale, mm-hmm. off-brand Nestle's chocolate? How is that even possible?" I eat it anyway, though. No, I was see, bored. DC's I like the, yeah, that candy that you get for Halloween that lasts till the next Halloween, and you end up just being like, "I'm throwing this out." Yeah. This no, you eat it any. Yeah. It's bad when you take it In out of the wrapper and it's metaphor, y'all eat it anyways. No. I mean, it, but we're not just happy because about all it, my so. friends are like, hey, yeah, let's sit down and eat this together. It. We're not happy about it, though. It's, 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 it's like eating bad pizza. You're like, well, it's still pizza, but it's bad pizza. DC is licorice. That's not bad. DC That's is not. licorice. Because sometimes you want licorice. Sometimes you want licorice. You know, like a good black licorice, you're like, I do want, like my dad never used to go to the licorice. candy store and get the assortment of black licorices. Why? And I got to be honest, I fucking love them. I Wait, love my like, licorice. I love them. Yeah, that taste. Exactly. And then but everyone's also oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah you that. get in there, you're like, I, I, this is horrible. Like it kind of tastes salty, and if you get too much of it, you throw up a little bit. Oh, you still eat God. it. God, you guys. Have some All I'm saying is DC. Why? DC Wait, movies no, are like hold that. Hold on a chocolate. second. Hold on a second. What? Just as it was something that seems normal to you is eating too much black licorice that you kind of throw up. <laughs> is that not normal? Do people not do that? No, Nicholas. You ever, you ever stop and think about your childhood and think, that is some shit that people probably just don't do. We, I had this discussion with Andy yesterday. There was like this debate on if you keep butter like in a butter dish on the counter, if you keep it on the fridge. In the, in the fridge. fridge. It's going to melt on the, the counter. I grew up in Riverside, California. He's in Riverside. He's in Riverside. It it's stays cold. solid. No. It's just like squishy. Nah. Like melting. No, no, no. My, I mean, well, if, in, in Riverside, in, it would have melted. Is, unless you would have just yanked up the... If we had the AC on, yeah, but you, you don't you understand Mama Scarpino. Uh, my mother... 80 degrees all day. If you were literally dying of heat stroke, she would go, she would look at you, and she would know, calculate how much money it was going to cost to turn the air conditioning on for a day, and she would just shake her head at you and let you die. That it's AC cheaper for you to go to the out. emergency room than it is to turn on the air conditioning. She has insurance. You understand? Mm-hmm. My, mom was always, my mom was always a bargain shopper. Mm-hmm. So she would look at you and be like, ah, if I take him to the insurance, if, into the hospital, there's AC there. He'll yeah. get his AC there. And it only cost me the copay. And that's why when my brother, when my parents used to go out of town, my brother and I would throw parties and we'd crank down the AC. We would just put that shit like 50. And then we wouldn't say anything. Did- and oh my God, it would be great. Because we, it was like, it was during the summer, so we'd be like 115 outside, yeah. 110 outside. And so we'd then be it nets banking, out. Yeah. And you walk in and it's like walking into cryotherapy. It was so good. And you get the tingles. Oh God, it's the best. And you're sleeping at night, you're cold, you gotta have an extra blanket. And then inevitably, my parents, a month later, because we didn't care. When you're a kid, you don't give a fuck. No. You don't care about consequences. Yeah, a month later, you get the, my mom go off of the mail, come back in. I hear her open the mail and go, what the fuck? It'd be like a $400 AC bill from that day. I would leave. <laughs> you just my, my, brother, my, my brother was smart because he had a car. So he would just never be home. I would always take the brunt of that shit. Mm. So when I heard the mail open up, like, gotta go. And I would just like walk out of the house. Let it cool off for a little bit. Yeah. Well, I had a shotgun for a while. I was scared. <laughs> Next news story. What the fuck is going on with James Bond? Director Danny Boyle oh, no. exits next James Bond film. This comes from The Hollywood Reporter. Uh, quote, there are some uh, creative differences. Let me guess. Danny Boyle wanted to make a real movie, and y'all just want to make another Bond movie like Spectre. Uh, which was just, man, just boring. Isn't that bad? Uh, I don't really remember anything about it. <laughs> That probably says something, Joey. That yeah. probably Precisely. says something. Precisely. I also just don't really care about Daniel Craig as Bond. So I love Daniel. I kind of, I love that's Daniel my Craig's like Bond. baseline going in. But I, I stopped caring about him when he stopped caring about the role, which was right around Quantum, uh, right around, uh, Quantum uh, no, he, like, he wanted to do Quantum because he wrote that. But he what was one that? afterward? Yeah, he helped write it because it was a writer's strike. Oh. Skyfall? Skyfall. Skyfall. Right around Skyfall, you could tell he stopped caring about it. And that's when I stopped caring about Bond, when too. he failed at the I liked Skyfall. Billy the Kid 3 suspector was really good. No, it wasn't. But, yeah, not at all. It was not good. 
That movie is. makes no, it's weird, it's long, nothing really happens. Lee Sudo is fucking phenomenal in it. But it's just, in my opinion, the Bond movies since Casino Royale have just gone downhill. Everyone likes Skyfall. I didn't like it. I was like, this movie doesn't make really? any sense. Nothing happens in it. I liked Skyfall. Yeah. Though, I, nothing will be better than Pierce Brosnan as Bond. 100%. I just, maybe I'm just like, it, it's a sad realization for me, but Bond and Star Wars are both in the same place for me where I'm like, I used to love these when I was a kid. I'm just you not. You liked Bond They're that much? Like, no. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, the Bond movies have gotten worse. They went crazy. They went crazy to like a new level that was the Pierce Brosnan years. Then they're like, no, no, fuck this. We're going to reboot. We're going to make it real. And then somewhere mid- midway, I think it was the second one, Quantum of Solace, they were just like, uh, let's, let's, let's make it a real problem. And uh, the villain is, is not like this crazy super guy. It's just a guy fucking keeping all this water. And it was no, just like, that's not cool. My thing is I'm this. Javier. No, Javier Bardem was the Skyfall. Quantum of Solos, I actually like, if you think about it in terms of it's a third act for Casino Royale. If you watch those two movies together, it's actually pretty cool. Because it's a continuation of the, he's going after, not Spectre, it's um, Quantum, which is the group that he's going yeah. after. And I actually like, like it's, it's a lot more rooted in reality where it's just this conglomerate of people who are just trying to make money by controlling resources in third world yeah. countries. And that's cool. It's not as grandiose as like, we have a nuclear bomb on the moon. Yeah, but, <laughs> but I thought it was cool. But it just, the, the problem with that movie was it was happening during the writer's strike and they just, yeah, they just couldn't get a good script out. It's not a solid mm. movie. It's not, a, it's yeah. not, a, it's a good third act. To Casino Royale, if you think of it that way. And then Skyfall came and they were like, uh-oh, we royally fucking screwed the pooch with Quantum of Solace. We need to go back to Bond's roots with gadgets and cool things and the car. Oh, the car. I'm like, what? The f- it doesn't make any sense. The car came from nowhere. The car doesn't exist in this universe anymore. And they just brought it back. It's dumb. And the car but is in the next one. I'm like, that's stupid. The car could exist in this universe, though. Speaking of that car, Joey. Mm-hmm. Kevin, bring me the next news story. They're making those cars. Evidently, Aston Martin uh, is going to recreate the James Bond, the DB, I think it was DB5. Is there a picture or something? Uh, No, because uh, IGN didn't deign to put that in there. click that link. It says create 25. If if you click that link, we can go through there. So they're creating 25 uh, of the original Bond cars, uh, Aston Martin and Eon Productions, uh, to create 25 Goldfinger DB5 continuation cars. Uh, They're going to sell for approximately 2.7 million pounds per but damn, dude, those are dope. Those are dope. I can't click on the That is the ultimate collectors. It's And they have gadgets and like the license plate that turns over and all that stuff. So yeah. it'll be very interesting to see who winds up with these cars. How much did you say they're going to sell for? 2.7 million. That's a lot. Pounds. Pounds. Is, that's like five. Five million dollars? Yeah. yeah. 2.75 million pounds. I. That's not even like a... Like I'm looking at this car and it doesn't seem worth it. You know no, I, mean? I would not no. pay five million for this. I would, <laughs> I would, I would, I would buy... Probably a modern day Aston Martin because it's a lot bigger. I'm sure that I'm sure this is going to have a total modern drivetrain, like engine and suspension sure, and all that yeah. stuff. Sure. But still going to be tiny. I would dr- I would fucking ride. I want the one he had, Inspector, that that Vanquish or whatever he had. Those are dope as yeah. shit. I would I would spend like two hundred grand on that and pocket the other five million. But I guess if you have five million to spend on a car, you don't really give a fuck. Yeah, exactly. This Money's is like a not really thing for you. an object. Yeah. Um. So someone who doesn't really know like older James Bond, which that's what it looks like. Um, is that so? Would like most James Bond fans know that car if they saw the DB5? it? The DB5, yes. Yeah. Okay. The DB5 is one of the most iconic like cars ever put in in yeah. on in movies. Got it. Fun fact: I watched a, a mini documentary about the Aston Martin. Mm-hmm. Evidently, Aston Martin, uh, close to going bankrupt back in the day, mm-hmm. got bought by a financier from New York called I think his name was David Brown. Okay. And the first car they made was the DB5 based oh. after his initials, David Brown. That's what DB stands for. Didn't know that. that. Also, everything. fun fact, uh, Eon Production stands for Everything or Nothing, which was a short story. Bond short story. You're just full of fun facts today. I could have. I may, I may have made that last one up, but I'm pretty sure it stands for Everything or Nothing. <laughs> I don't know if it was a short story or not. I'm pretty sure it was. Because, that's, oh, cool. that's right, his coat of arms was The World is Not Enough. Mm-hmm. And I think Everything or Nothing was a Bond short story. And when they started, when they started doing, when they formed the production company to make Doctor No, they they named it after that. That's uh, cool. We're gonna take a break in news right now, Kevin. Okay. To bring you a message from our sponsor. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting along in the tooth, but we need to jump into this uh, to give away a game. But before we do that, oh, oh. how the hell? Oh. Oh. No, I accidentally set my alarm yesterday. I did laundry. I said I must have set it for eleven fifty today. Uh, today's episode of the morning show is brought to you by. That's right, Joey. Slack. Oh, 
Joe, you use Slack. I use Slack all the time. I have so many channels. I make notes in them. Sometimes I forget that the rest of you people are in these channels, mm-hmm. and you get Slacks at like random hours of the night. I love it. You're the Slack king. I'll tell you that. You're the Slack master. I'm gonna call you the Slack master right now. Uh, Slack is a collaborative hub for work. Whatever work you do uh, with Slack, the right people in your team are kept in the loop, and the information they need is always at their fingertips. With mobile apps for iOS and Android that sync seamlessly, you can always pick up where you left off no matter where you are. I would agree with all of that. Teamwork on Slack happens in channels, letting you organize conversations and information around projects, uh, objects, and teams. Excuse me, offices and teams. And because everything you need to make Work happen is in one place. It's faster and easier to get things done. Slack also connects the tools and services in one easy to use app with real time messaging, video or voice calls, group file sharing, drag and drop file sharing, and searchable archives that work with all the apps you already use, like Jira, Salesforce, uh, Zendesk, and Google Drive. With Slack, your team is better connected. Slack, where work happens. Learn more at slack.com. That's right, that's slack.com. Tell you one thing right now we use Slack all the time. And one of the things that they have in this copy that I really I haven't read yet, but I really appreciate is that it does, because you know they give you the copy like, hey, yeah. pick some things if you've used this that you guys. One of the things that pops out to me is there's a whole section of how it reduces email. It really does. Yeah. Because there's no reason to set like I hate when people send you an email with one question in it. Yeah. It's just now, or it's just the subject line. Or like there's like five people in the email and they just need an answer from one of them. Yeah. Slack takes care of that. I remember there was a dark time when. I first started here full time before we had Slack. We didn't have Slack, yeah. And it was it was it was a dark time. There was a lot more emails, I agree. Yeah. There was a lot more yelling back and forth to Too the Too much yelling rooms. back and forth. Also, yeah. it's more fun. You can do little inside jokes with people, send people pictures, memes, things like that. Yeah. I don't need everyone to see it. You because need I think the gifts? Ke- because like you're yeah. maybe not gonna get the joke that Kevin's getting. I'm just gonna send it to Kevin. That's true. You know what I mean? Yeah, except for the fact that I don't like that you guys have a cute animal thread thing going back and forth. It's mm-hmm. not back and forth. No, just no, it's just Kevin, Kevin sending me. <laughs> Kevin uh, messaged me and slacks me just amazing mm-hmm. images of animals all the time, and I like it. I don't yeah. ever respond to it, but I see them all, yeah. and it brings me joy. Laker Shed said, IDK, what is Slack? It is... I just said. I it's just a, said like instant it. messaging service, but it has all these different channels. It's it's really it's very convenient for workflow, because you can break everything up into channels. Like We have a channel for travel, we have a channel for merch, we have a channel for... Um, basically every major thumbnails. thing that we would have an email thread for, we have channels for that, and that way if I need a thumbnail or whatever, or, or someone, like, for instance, on Thursday, everyone was gone, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, crap, I gotta make a thumbnail. I went back into our thumbnail template, scrolled through the archives, grabbed the template, and downloaded yeah. it, and it was just right there. It's nice, it's a, it's a very clean organizational tool that really, really does help. Yeah, Also, it's, like it's a... fun to just totally throw links in there and mess with people. Yeah, and you can do the dancing parrots, which you I haven't seen in a long dancing time. Parrots. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Slack is bringing you today's giveaway. How do you win the giveaway? Well, there's four easy ways. One, be in the Twitch chat right now, just like, I don't know, Zyger's probably in there. I can't tell those things off. Uh, two, be a Switch subscriber, of course. If you have Amazon Prime, you get one free Twitch Prime subscription. Please use that for us. This is your monthly reminder. You gotta do it every month. Stop for a second and do it now. Appreciate you, thank you very much. Uh, ways three and four, you can be on patreon.com slash kind of funny or patreon.com slash kind of funny games and support us at the $2 above level. That gets you entered to win as well. Congratulations from the Twitch chat today to Ambient Soul. You have won. No, was that yesterday? It's, yeah, it's the second one. Apologies, you won yesterday. Uh, Joe Corradini from the kind of funny Patreon has won today. He has won 1979 Revolution Black Friday on the PS4. Congratulations, guys. Stick around in the chat all week for your chance to win, of course. You want to amplify that. Utilize those three extra ways that I said to amplify that. Of course, if you're watching on YouTube, we appreciate you very much. Leave a comment in the section. Let's keep the conversation going right now. Uh, you can also, if you want to win on YouTube, go over to the Patreon, support us at the $2 above level, and that gets you entered to win. And you might just get a game in your inbox. It's possible. It's possible. But it's also highly improbable, given how many people There's a lot of support people. us. If you're just doing one, you got to do all four. See what I'm saying? Even Four if you can't watch live, you could just be a Twitch sub. And that you could be a Twitch sub. You can go sub to us right now. If you have Amazon Prime right now, you've never watched a show live, do me a favor. Go over to Twitch. Just subscribe to us. Why not? What's it gonna, what else are you going to do? Wear a shoe? Yeah, I brought that joke back. That old stupid joke. <laughs> it's one of my favorite jokes. It is a good joke. All it's right, let's one. go into tips right now. Uh, we have one more tip. Comes from the underpaid drummer. Thank you for using... Uh, <laughs> a capitalized D R U M M M E R on that one. I read it. I read it correctly today. The greatest fun clip of all time gets better as it goes. Trust me, Milk Mommy. Let's put it this way. Kevin doesn't trust. He verifies. Do you Speaking understand me? Slack. We don't. Kevin doesn't come into work all day just to willy nilly trust people. He's gonna watch this, and if he doesn't like it, you're banned. You're banned. You're timed out for five seconds. 
That's crazy. Kevin, let us know if you like this or not. Give me a second. While you're That's doing that, lot. P.S. I love this best friend XOXO today comes Ooh. from Andrew Baldwin. He's shouting out Brett Medlock. That I wanted to shout out this guy not only because he's an awesome guy in the community, but also an amazing best friend in real life. I've seen him uh, come from essentially nothing, sleeping on the floor of my room in high school, to having his own house, married to an amazing woman, and have two adorable little boys. He's helped me through so much of my life and is, is a big inspiration to me. I honestly could, could not ask for a better friend. P.S. He does awesome work making content on YouTube, so check out his Nintendo. Uh, his, his, check out at Nintendo Enthusiast. Uh, P.S.S. P.P.S. Excuse me, Nick. You and Tim might remember running into us on the streets of LA randomly during E3 the night you guys got there. Yeah, we did. We saw you guys in the corner. We were walking. I think we were going to that uh, or coming from that Rooster Teeth installment thing. Oh, they did. going to the. Yeah. When all of a sudden I turned around, you guys were gone. Yeah, we just and you're like, uh, Okay, well, I guess we're here now. Of course, got to go to kindoffunny.com slash best friend if you guys want to shout someone out in your Woo-hoo. life you feel is doing a great job. Uh, Kevin. Guys, going to be honest. I did not enjoy that at all. You didn't like fact, it? I hated it. You're banned. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. like some sort of uh, art installation that didn't need to exist. I'm going to show you guys so that you can experience what I experienced. Okay. Well, show everyone. Uh, well, if you're going to show us, to. then you might as well show everyone. I don't want to. I don't okay. think it's worth well, it's Kevin. Everyone. It's Kevin's. Yeah. Let's but, just I mean, we'll watch it. Do you want us to just describe it? I mean, it's just people pretending to be sheep. And then a uh, 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 wolf looks like he sneaks in there. This wolf dressed like Donald Trump. Is this a political uh, statement? I, no, I, the wolf is definitely not dressed like Donald Trump. <laughs> it's just weird. This Why am I so turned on by this? Is that weird? You got, you, we, we, this is not the uh, reaction I was expecting. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the news. Uh, we have a couple more news stories before we head out today. One is the American Vandal Season 2 official trailer is out. And got to tell you, I'm jacked for this. Kev, bring it up. Let's watch it. It's coming. Monday, November 6th. It was really just a a normal day. I don't know how else to describe it. This chicken finger Monday. This things are damn good. Early into that lunch, I knew something was off. It it didn't really hit me right away. And then it really hit me. The lemonade was contaminated. Hi, Mama. All all of our students, they're all, they're all pooping. Oh my god. Most of us just shit our pants. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to find a place where they Graphic. Shit. This was the worst thing I've seen in 20 years. Before it was all over, it had a name. Oh my god. The brownout. This is... I don't like this. This is great. Sam and I began shooting American Vandal. The response has been incredible. But with all this attention, came a lot of pressure on what kind of a case to take on next. I'm contacting you because we have a vandal. He goes by the name The Turd Burglar. <laughs> the Turd Burglar? <laughs> Tagged in a video. This guy wanted an audience. He was taunting us. Milk, milk, lemonade. Around the corner, poo emojis made. The Turd Burglar. <laughs> <laughs> Who could have had a motive? There's such a dryness to this humor that just gets me, man. The motive is just poop is funny. Hot janitor. Poop is funny. It's poop, but it goes a lot deeper than that. Who is the chair burglar? (laughs) This is the best fucking television show on anything. Give a anything. date. September 14th. September 14th. Right around the corner. Right around the corner. Oh, I, man. Week after Spider-Man. I love I'm it. I'm so excited. I'm into it, man. I'll tell you, when it first started, I'm like, I don't know if I need more American Vandal. Like, they knocked it out of, yeah. of the park with the first one. It dragged a little bit there in the middle. It could just be a one-off. It could have been a one-off, but I love, this is, like, they totally Nick scarpino it. Yeah. But they were like, let's just make it one long shit joke. Mm-hmm. And I gotta be honest, it's really turning me on. <laughs> it's really getting me going. What is, why? Oh, what? The things that you keep telling us are turning you on today are really disturbing. Metaphorically speaking, I'm not actually erect by by the poop stuff. I'm saying it's really getting me going. You know what I mean? It really must makes me want to get it on with this show. Prove it by standing up. Now, to be fair, my penis is so small that even if I was erect, you wouldn't be able to tell. So, joke's on you, Kev. You'll never know. You'll never know if I'm close to you. That's terrifying. Whether or not I'm aroused or not. But I'll probably tell you if I am. <laughs> Cause I can't help but see that. I like I like to see the just the desperation in Kevin's face when no one's looking. I'm like, which is a lot. Kevin. Oh no, no he, hates he hates it. He hates it. He hates it. Sometimes he walks by the bathroom when I'm in it, and I, I know it's him because I can feel that particular timber of his shoes hitting the ground. Mm-hmm. And I go, Kevin, mm-hmm. I need help in here. I like that Kevin, Kevin right now is just slapping his cute dogs. It's fun. 
It's so good. Bring up this next, uh, this next thing. We'll round this out. All right, let's do it. Round out the day with this, let's and we'll go into three and three. Uh, this was a tweet from Sony. Just said July 2019, and it's Spider-Man Far Far From Home. And I assume this has not been announced before. The July 2019. Day. Yeah. But I thought we knew it was already July. No, 2019. I don't think we did. I don't, I don't think we did. Really? Also, but this I means like... it's a stacked year. What What do we got this year then? We got some Captain Marvel happening in March. We've Let's got... look it up, Kevin. Can you bring up the schedule of Marvel movies now? Uh, Throw it at me. Okay, it's too it's too hard, like it's too hard to keep track of. Unlike those abysmal Star Wars movies that we know that my life's gonna be. But there's like twice a ton of stuff already on the docket. I'm Let's looking see. at something. Because I, I oh. this is the first thing I pulled. Oh yeah, I'm gonna send. I'm gonna slack you something, Kevin. Slack right. it. Fucking do it. Dude. Look at that, man. We're slacking back and forth. Not only are we fans of Slack, we use the product. Now, are I would you be slacking so control. Sad. Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. Slack control. Kevin's slack like control. Kevin's only on control over there. All right, so let's bring this up, Kev. Well, this is this is a lot of things, this but is this my is favorite. the. Oh, Disney wow. and like this is everything. Okay, so under March, the Disney umbrella. March eighth of next year, we got Captain Marvel. I'm very jacked for that. Sure. Then we got Dumbo, which I will not be seeing because the fucking trailer made me it's cry. It's so sad. It's so sad. Uh, Aladdin coming out May twenty fifth. Toy Story skip four. Skip May third. Skip May third. Oh, I'm May sorry. 3rd May third is Avengers four, yeah. which is which crazy. I'm so excited about. Which I didn't realize it was Captain Marvel then 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 Avengers four. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Aladdin is May twenty fourth. Which I'm excited about. Toy Story June twenty first four. Uh, the Lion King, which I'm super mm. jacked about. I don't really you. care about The Lion King. I don't know what Artemis Fowl is. The book I series. I don't know either. Oh, whatever. Uh, Jungle Cruise. Which looks another... feel like it's going to be good. Is no. this an actual image? Is that an actual image? Did I they hope put it this is. out? Because that looks fucking awesome. I'll I'll tell you for Jungle gonna... Cruise? No, yeah. Dude, yeah, that's I... the two of them for sure. Is that that's Emily awesome. Blunt? Yeah, yeah, it's Emily Blunt and Listen, the Rock. let me tell you something. I love they The Rock. They did a trailer video for it. I love The Rock, but I want The Rock to do one less movie a year and just really spend a little bit more time on that one movie he's going to do. Hey, step up, right? I'm sorry. I think this you is know what? Be You're good. right. I'll step off. This is going to be like Jumanji, where people are like, I don't think it's going to be that good, and then it's going to surprise you. I watched Rampage, and I was like, hmm. I didn't say it was going to be Rampage, so it was going to be Jumanji. Rampage? Because what happens is, like, people rock goes, let's put been. a lot of effort in one, and then I'll just do one. And let's put a lot of effort in one, and let's do one. Like, Welcome to the Jungle, like, Jumanji was actually a decent movie. Yeah. Rampage, Meh. I feel like, and this is conservative, I feel like they wrote that script over here's, coffee at Starbucks in like 15 mm. minutes. Nicholas, here's the problem, okay? The acting from The Rock in those movies, uh, excellent. The me. Rock is, no. You know I loved I mean? Rampage because of The Rock. It, yeah. I love, there's a part in Rampage what I'm where he puts is, a guy to sleep, he puts yep. him in a rear naked choke, and he's like, don't fight it. Arm. That's a big arm. That's a big arm. I laugh my ass off. So funny. I'll watch The Rock fucking just stare at a camera for two hours. He I'll pay for that. He needs to do more work. I'm just saying. Why are they giving Mark Wahlberg work when The Rock exists? God damn it, I don't Kevin. understand. That's the real question. I don't understand. That is the real question. That's a great question. And I love Mark Wahlberg too, but yeah, I'd be happy fine. if he never made a movie ever again. <laughs> Mark, if you're watching, I love you. I'm a huge fan of you. But also, then what do you think you he should stop. do with the rest of his time? Cash in the fucking millions of dollars that he's okay. Uh, rounding out the year, by the but way. But then you Frozen have Spider-Man too. in there. Yeah. Amazing. And then uh, December twentieth. So uh, I guess right after Avengers, we got May, May, and then uh, June, Sometime. and then July. And so basically between. Either Toy Story or right on the Lion King time, we're going to get Spider-Man. My guess is it's going to be late July. Really? Yeah, because I don't think they're going to want to can. They're not going to want to cannibalize. Oh, uh, you know what? Well, it's different studio. Wait, didn't they? Because it's Sony, so they don't really care, right? No, no it's, it's Marvel. Marvel. Oh, it's a co-production. Hi, Andrea. Andrea Renee. Andrea, that's a lot of noise happening from Yeah, your whoa, life. that was like a your really nails, so hard click in there. Hard click. Yes. Yes. 12 that three. It okay. is. It is twelve oh three. Um, the thing is, I don't even want to watch it because I, I respect you. What? Oh, what? Do you want one? What is this photo? What is what photo? What do you mean, what photo? Oh, oh, this photo. <laughs> <laughs> I forget it's here. Uh, this is the fan mail uh, Patreon perk for this month. It's a picture of our champion. Do you hate your patrons? Do I hate our patrons? Are, do you know wow. how many people have actually wow. bought this already? <laughs> a shocking amount of people have actually bought this. <laughs> to the point where I'm like, what is this like? Now, I want you that to know. That background's though, pretty pimp. This is, a, say that. this is a prototype. It will be done in gold or silver ink. We just did not have that it has pen to be at the gold time. Because you're the Probably champ. gold because I'm the champ and the champs were gold. But Obviously. I feel like if we can get a platinum pen, I would also do that. Because platinum is all the king work. of all precious metals. Platinum and silver look the same in ink. Yeah. Here's the just deal. So, you know just what? so you know. I'll send one to your house. 
How about that? Because I feel I like didn't John would like this. Say it with that like tone in your voice. <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like you're gonna. I feel like you're gonna want one of these. I could hang it in the What's Good Studio, Here's and then what, we could throw darts at it. You could do what I, what I personally. Whoa, 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 you could do that. Shots you could fired. also do what I'm. What I'm recommending people do that have that have children and a family is yeah. I'm telling them that right now you take this, you put two pieces of tape underneath it, you tape it underneath your sink. When you need to get away from your family, you need a little joy in your life, you lock the door, your kids are banging on the door, they're like, Mom, let me in. And you say, shut up, you little monsters. This is mommy's private time. And you go underneath your sink, you take it out, and you look at the champ. And it's just like meditative. It makes you strong. You underneath your sink? You, you gotta it hide it. Underneath the sink, like I used to do my nudie You mean bags. like in the kitchen? No, no, in the, in like the hallway bathroom. Wait, like the sorry. kids can't like see it. Like you used to do with your wife. I want to go what? to Andrea's and tape one of these in her hallway bathroom so bad. <laughs> or just put it next to your pillow at night. I Whatever. think you're just assuming that people have vanities in their hallway bathrooms. But if it's just like a pedestal sink, then what do you do? You put it behind yeah, why it. Why would you have just that's a why it's, well, that's why in it's, the mirror? Maybe the design is incorporated in a really nice way, Kevin. Okay, so then you, if you have that, then you surely have the open and shut medic. You put it on the inside of that. Shut it. No one sees it. Because like guys don't use that anyway. You got right? her, dude. She said you shake. <laughs> or again, right above your back. Nailed it. Andrew, or, if you want, I will blow this picture up to as no. big as Kinkos will allow me to. Ooh, and we will put okay. it in a frame now we're and talking. Kevin will come over to your house and hang it above your bed. I'll hang it real nice. Real nice. John Drake would love that. I would like John Drake. I would like a picture of John Drake for my own edification. Do you know that there is a John Drake pillow out in the world? Wait, what? It's is a, it one of those like a John Drake soft body Japanese pillow. body pillows? Yes. I love those it's things. It's like a full size body pillow questions. with his face on it. And I don't think I want any. We used to have a bunch of those floating around IGN, and people would like legitimately sleep with them. And I'm like, do you know how many people's faces and like bodies have rubbed up on this pillow? It's so gross. what? Sometimes you're so tired you don't give a damn. I, I always give a damn. I've been there. That's, that's categorically false. That's 100% true. <laughs> <laughs> 100% All right, true. wrap your show up, would you? I'm going to wrap it up. We're going to see. Are you sticking around for lunch today, or what are you doing? Maybe. All right. Well, Lisa's. We might get a good Mexican lunch today. Great Mexican lunch. All right, think about it. Think about it. Let's go into the three and three while she's thinking about that. We're going to think about you guys. Flashy Andy says, I have a pedestal, pedestal stink, but no medicine cabinet in the guest uh, one half bed, bath, Nick. What now? Well, here's what we you just, do. I just went over it. You put it above your bed. Or you know what, for one, once in your fucking life, live out loud, whoa, whoa, okay? Whoa, calm down. Stop being such a coward Bye, and just Andy admit that you stop. love Bye, the champ. Andy's her boy. Come on. Your family will probably ostracize you. If you live in a very uh, conservative community, they'll probably not let you go to church anymore, but it doesn't fucking matter. I don't because think you'll that be happy. kind of love. You'll be happy that you stood up for yourself for once. <laughs> and now you're living the real life for once instead of this like weird clustered, cloistered, cloistered life. You see what I'm saying? You love the champ, let that out into the world. Let your freak flag fly. Pretty sure it's not at all how it, how it works. Joey, what are people saying in the chat? Uh, Mr. Penguin Von Penguin says, thank you, Nick, for your sub. He's done a very good job about thanking you. He's thanking me every day, and I'll tell you one thing right now, Sancho West. Take notes? Fucking take notes. Teddy Chanel is dead to me. Sancho West, <laughs> caught up. But let's, let us never forget R.I.P. Teddy Chanel's. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? He is so fucking Press dead to me. Press F to pay respects, man. Press F, man. I don't know what is that. What that is? Yeah. There you go. Uh, oh shit! Why do I keep doing that? What'd you do? I keep doing some sort of stroke on my machine that takes me back to the website before. Uh, all right. Uh, Mary Kill, Mary F Kill says the uh, the Ice Twenty Seven is Johnny Ace, Nick Scarpino, the One True Champ. They're all. It's you can't. We got you got to marry and have sex with all of them. The one true champ, if you're going to tell, you can kill him as Andy, probably. Everyone says that. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Um. Uh, Thomas, Thomas in 2D says, well, that's what we can get for using a Mac, Nick. Guess who, just got, guess who just got fucking timed out? Probably someone who was right. Thomas in 2D. Kevin, time him out. I don't know how. Joey, time him out. Uh, I've already Joey, started to do something else. just say you don't else. know how. Just say you don't know how. You guys are the worst. <laughs> you guys are the worst. <laughs> They won't respect me if they if we don't occasionally throw a fucking sacrificial lamb to the fire. Do you understand me? But then we forget. If you don't time them out, but when I say time them out and no one times them out, yeah. they just they're gonna run this place. King franchise timed them out. So thank you, good. King franchise. Andrew Francis. Thank you, thank uh, you. Let's go into sub only mode while we're there, while people are being timed out. Um. Nope. You want here? I got you. I got it. Um. Nope. I did that wrong to I you. Did Can it. you do I got it? it? Thank you. Come on. Um, Play the sheep video for everyone. What are you afraid of? Says underpaid drummer. Uh, we're afraid they'll be bored to death for thirty seconds. It's just <laughs> I didn't think it was boring. 
It just made me feel uncomfortable. Yeah, it made Kevin, me really feel Kevin, uncomfortable too. I don't like that. Time out, underpaid drummer. I don't know. I know how that he gave that. us money for this, and it's totally unacceptable and totally de incentivizing people. You're timed out, buddy. 10 seconds, it timed made out. Me feel franchise yeah. timeout, 10 seconds. Nobody knows how to time people out for Burritos seconds. Human, uh, Hammond. No, Burrito Shaman says, Nick, my name is. Well, no, there's no fucking punctuation. Do you understand me? Do you understand how hard it is to read a name as it's going around in a fucking color that matches the background that has no punctuation, like no inner cap whatsoever? Yeah. It's hard. Oh, my life man. is hard, okay? It goes brain surgeon, Nick, president of the United States. That's how hard my life is. Oh, Lord. It's hard. That's a lot. There's a lot to unpack there. It says, Nick, my name is also Nick. Do you want to start a very exclusive Nick club? Sure. Would love that. Oh, that's Would fun. love that. Uh, Gets Bucket says, she ain't that bad after a couple beers. Well, you're, you're banned, sir. That's you are banned. That's gross. That's horrifying. Mr. Joey, Yasman 300 says, Nick and Joey, did you happy. see the story that Francis Ford Coppola might have accidentally married Keanu Reeves and Winona Ryder on yes. the set of Dracula because he hired a real priest? Did you see that? I did see Pretty that. Funny. That's a joke. They clearly were not consenting to that marriage. If that were the case, if people were allowed to get married without their consent, I would be married to Kevin. Kevin would have married me a long time ago. He doesn't know we're married. Oh it's okay. Gosh. His marriage to Paul is a sham. You know, it's bound to happen. Mr. Penguin, Bob Penguin says, no marriage license, no marriage. Also, you got. I think in certain states, you have to uh, consummate the marriage under mm. God. You gotta do it. Isn't that, yeah, isn't that a probably, weird thing? Probably did though, you know? Under the Catholic Church, like the marriage doesn't stand until you consummate it. Makes sense. Which means you gotta oh, bang. Just friends. Oh, God wants just you friends. to bang before he's he like gives you his approval. It's fucking weird. And it's weird. Catholic, 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 Catholic Church is weird, man. I mean, they got a lot of they got a lot of hypocrisy time. there. Yeah. Like don't There's fuck a lot before of marriage, stuff going on with the but after marriage, right you gotta get down. Otherwise, it doesn't count. It's weird. I'm not really up to date on my waste the bandwidth. As God is a fucking perv. He is a perv, man. All right, calm down, guys. All right, he is. All right, that's it. 12-11. Ladies and gentlemen, we love you very much. I will be back tomorrow, 11 a.m. I think Joe's with me on that one, too. It might Am be I? Andy. Who's, who's with me tomorrow on the show? Is it Andy? Is that Candy? It's no, it's Greg. Oh. Nope, nope. that's wrong. I'm in September. <laughs> it's going to be Andy. Oh, and... Uh, oh, yeah, we should talk about this. Oh, Tyler Coe. Tyler Coe from One us. Sports Ball will be here tomorrow for the Kind of Funny Morning Show. Expect a lot of 15 seconds of sports. We're doing a three-way show tomorrow, that's, which is great. I, that's unprecedented. We know John Reisinger did one with us. We've oh, done right. it before. There's, there, there has, a, but that was there has a, been a precedent. That was that a spontaneous. That was true. Uh, it's going to be a really good one tomorrow, guys. Tune Thank in. You of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for spending some time with us today. Uh, we, we appreciate you, uh, especially all of you in London who are watching right now while you're eating your fish and chips and you just got up a hard day's work and you had to mind that gap all day. It's real, real hard. But while you're there, hey, let's keep the conversation going in the comments below. Let us know what you thought of any of our news stories, any of our rants, any of that stuff. Uh, let us know what you think of Danny Boyle leaving Bond. Let us know what you think about the whole Kelly Marie Tran situation. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it respectful. Uh, and I will try to respond to as many of those comments as I can in the first few hours of the video being live. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow at 11 a.m. PT. Uh, I will see you on the other side. Kevin, please cut the feed.